Hey everybody, I'm here with my second trimester update. I'm gonna go super quick because I have tons of info. I covered all of my weeks until now. I believe on next Sunday it'll be 30 weeks. So I'm 29 right now. Let's get going. So the start of the second trimester was week 14 for me. And I had heartburn that felt like fireballs. Like it wasn't just heartburn, it was like burning excuse me, in my throat. Um, and I found that using really strong mints, um, non-medicinal, <laughs> non-medicinal kind of cough droppy, that type of mint, actually helped my nausea and my severe heartburn. I still actually use that. Um, my tailbone got more severe and more sore as time went on. And I actually felt like I was dragging my one leg behind me and I told people at work I nicknamed it Quasimodo because I would just be walking through the hallway like some kind of monster. Um, at this point I also started developing sore feet. It was just the pads of my feet were more sensitive than normal. And basically um, every time that I took a sip of something I would that was carbonated I would have an instant hiccup. And this actually still happens. I don't know why but... I take a sip and, it, and then it's just that one time. Who knows? Week 15, sun sen sensitivity. Um, I've never had a sunburn in my entire life. And this time we were out at the lake and I got a nose burn. And it looked like my nose was a freaking hot dog, a cooked hot dog. It was so disgusting. Um, then the following day I had a migraine and I'm associating that with dehydration and or burning my face off at the lake and that resulted in vomiting too much information maybe sorry and then amidst all this I found my first gray hair um it's probably about time I am 30 so that was I thought I'd be more upset about it really but I think because I'm pregnant a gray hair seems like nothing I don't know then I think I was starting to feel my first kicks or what they call flutters and then I have the line the lines nigra or the black line that runs down your tummy it was super super faint um, then on 16 weeks um, I figured that I have swollen feet and that my shoes don't fit um, I thought that I was swollen feet, but apparently you retain a lot of water and they don't look like that anymore. So maybe it was just a phase I was going through, I'm not sure. Then I was still wearing my normal pants at that point and I started getting extreme chafing on the inner um, top area of my legs and I had to change pants immediately. Um, that was very uncomfortable. Then at that point, I had the blood test that was positive for Down syndrome in the genetic screening. Um, there's actually a video a couple videos back that explained that process and what I went through after that. And then um, on week 17 I heard the heartbeat for the first time and it was at 150. Um, still wondering if I'm feeling movement or flutters. But I'm definitely feeling something and I do think in hindsight that that was the baby. Um, I got super oily skin. I actually still, my nose is super oily and I figure that's why I actually got burnt on my nose. And the rest of my face is dry most of the time. So who knows. Um, at that point I was always hungry. And then the baby started getting really busy and I could feel that starting to move and that's pretty cool I think um, then at 18 weeks I decided that I had a smaller bladder I'm just going to the bathroom more frequently my nipples are darker um, and I had a dental hygienic appointment apparently it's really good for you to go take care of your teeth I did skip the treatment where you get the stuff of course I'm not gonna remember what it is now the fluoride treatment I did skip that. I don't know if that's bad for your pregnancy or not. Um, I just didn't think that it is probably a good thing. Not that I'm drinking this stuff, but I just skipped it. Um, around 19 weeks, I started noticing that I'm getting skin tags all over my neck. I have a lot of um, 
beauty marks ready but I have these little poppy out skin tag things and the revenge of the fireballs in my throat came back um, at 20 weeks I had an ultrasound and the baby was facing the wrong way again they couldn't get all the measurements and this on top of my pre-screening for genetic is already like freaking me out because I thought this might lighten my brain a little bit but then it's facing the wrong way and you don't know if that's just like code word for something's wrong Bruh. Um, then I had a migraine from 6 a.m. till 8 30 so that's about 14 and a half hours and I figure when I get my migraines they're associated to dehydration um, just if I didn't focus on drinking enough liquids it seems to hit me so um, 21 weeks I had another ultrasound and we completed the rest of the measurements and everything seems okay um, that way 22 weeks um, Oh, we also found out what we're having. Um, you can do the gender reveal a couple of videos back if you haven't seen yet. Um, 22 weeks, hubby can feel the baby move if I kind of like help his hand, like if I push down a little bit. Um, and my hot flashes started. I still get these. I've always ran hot my entire life. So for me, trying to stay ran hot, no, I've always ran cold. Um, and I've always tried to stay warm my entire life, so it's actually kind of weird to me because getting hot, like, I just think it's so frustrating. I don't know. And then a couple, like, cramps, not severe. Um, they do call for it during pregnancy. Luckily, mine were not all that bad, but. Week 23, um, oh, my tailbone, I don't know. I'm going to call them butt spasms. Some people call it being tasered, like it's that severe. I'd walk and almost like the muscle would tense so badly that I would, my leg would lose power. It was just terrible. It was like a spasm from my tailbone across my butt and I would just like lose power in that leg and it would just get more and more severe and it got to the point where I was like crying just walking. So I made an appointment with a chiropractor um, sometimes coffee has been a weird one for me. Sometimes I smell coffee and I really want it. And then the other half of the time, it smells like cat piss. I don't know <laughs> how you get two opposites where you think it smells good and then it stinks. But... And then my hips were sore just for that week, but definitely it was associated to the way that I was walking because of those spasms. Um, made it to the chiropractor. I'm a believer. Um, I love the chiropractor. If you're having problems, go see your chiropractor. He healed me completely. It was Thanksgiving weekend. I honestly started believing that I'm going to go through the rest of my pregnancy with my Quasimodo symptoms in so much pain that I can hardly walk or stand up or sit down. It was just such a relief when I got rid of that, let me tell you. Then week 24, I went to the chiropractor again. I could work out again so I was super happy and then I had some heartburn again. Heartburn now I realize is a regular point of life but there are some times that it's super severe. 25 weeks people started telling me bad stories about babies and things going wrong and I started developing a little bit of anxiety. Um, the baby turned I could definitely feel it. It's kind of weird when it turns and you readjust. Um, it's happened several times since then, but like the first couple times, it's just kind of weird, I think. I can actually see the baby move when I'm looking down at this point. I have a small stretch mark on my belly button, kind of next to it, and where my old belly button piercing used to be. It seemed to have kind of like zigzagged across there. And then I went to the chiropractor again. And then I went through a little phase where my skin was actually peeling. I've had acne on and off, dry skin, peeling skin, blemishes, the oily nose. It's just never ending, I guess. At 26 weeks, I think I felt my baby have little hiccups. And it was just way down there. And it was just like the tiniest little um, feeling. But it was very consistent. And low, it wasn't hard like a kick. So I like to think I felt little baby hiccups, which was cute. Um, sometimes I get cramping or pushing 
I think it's the baby on my ovaries or I'm always in labor. <laughs> I don't know. Um, then I started developing anxiety about not working. I know some people are super excited about leaving work, but to me this is a weird aspect because, well, it's going to be the middle of winter, January, 10 feet of snow outside, nothing to do. I live in a small town. Um, I feel like I'm going to have everything done ahead of time anyway. And I've never not worked. I've never not earned my own money since I was 11. So for me not to have a job is actually a source of anxiety. I thought I would be excited. The closer I get to it, I am actually frightened. <laughs> um, so the other end of that is I was going to take a month off and now I've extended my quit time. Now I'm off two weeks before. And they said I can honestly stay until I give birth as long as I don't give birth at work. <laughs> Um, then another leg cramp. They're not too severe. It's just worth a mention. Went back to the chiropractor. I had um, severe stomach acid. I was coughing um, and it was like in my throat and I had to sit up and I kind of looked it up and it sounds like GERD. So if you've ever heard of GERD, um, it's caused by tomato, acidy foods, chocolate, sugar, candy, um, white starches, alcohol, which I don't have, and caffeine, which I don't have. But all of the other ones I had in one night, it was Halloween and I ate pizza and candy like it was going out of style. So, um, at 27 weeks, I started getting some nightmares. Oh yeah, the baby was coming out of me and it had like claws, like dog claws coming out of my stomach and it punctured the water like and the water started flowing out and then my husband looks at me and he's like the baby's not ready yet you should be keeping that in there I'm like I'm trying but I can't and it was so freaky I don't know and then I had a different one but I totally forgot oh yeah somebody kicked me in my stomach in my dreams <laughs> I don't know nightmares are perfectly natural I've always had weird dreams but those ones Ugh. Um, then I have my blood glucose test for gestational diabetes. I was there for about an hour, drank the orange drink, you have five minutes to drink it, you have to wait an hour and give a blood sample. Um, our cutoff is 6.7 for the blood sugar levels and mine was 6.6. .6. So technically I'm negative but I'm on the watch list. And then I had another migraine from 9.30 a.m. till 3.30 a.m. and that's 18 hours of migraines. Excuse me. <laughs> um, then of course poor sleeping. I feel like I haven't slept well since about five weeks. Just uncomfortable and peeing all the time. I don't know. So I did vomit one time this trimester and two near misses. Near misses for me is when you kind of like when you're like, ugh, ugh. when you're like that, that's a near miss for me. And the only reason why I did, I believe, is because of when I burnt my nose, I must have gotten too much sun and must have been dehydrated and then got a migraine. And then the, that migraine resulted in getting sick. I did buy a belly band and I think it was a fail. When I sit down, they roll down. Um, I feel like my pants are going to fall off or that my pants are open. Um, I just didn't like it very much. Um, also, lots of people say that there's a blooming phase where you really look nice and I just find I never had that whole glowing experience. My baby's definitely sucking the life out of me to <laughs> help nourish itself, which is okay. Um, I'm probably shedding one fourth, if not less, of my regular hair I used to shed a lot a lot and I'm finding that I'm not shedding at all right now so I'm sure it's gonna look like I'm losing all my hair after I give birth and also my leg hair is growing slower I know that seems weird and then basically I've gone through one coconut oil and one little like knockoff bio oil and a folic acid at this point um, I did quit my multivitamins but I think that would actually fall into this trimester so we'll skip that 
Um, basically, to sum it up, um, things are not that bad. I go through, I'm systematic, systematic, <laughs> symptomatic every day. Um, the baby kicks all of the time, but to me, um, like just carry on unless you've really got it bad, I guess. Um, lots of people say they enjoyed their pregnancy and how it was so good and how it flew by. For me, it's like, man, no, are you kidding me? It's taking forever. I want my baby out already. And I do like the baby kicking, but am I enjoying? Like when I think of somebody enjoying it, it's like really like, I don't know. I'm not sure I'm there yet. <laughs> um, and just the last little item is zero affection from hubby. Like we're affectionate, but yeah, there's no boom boom, if you know what I mean. And that also happens for some people. Quite frankly, I wasn't feeling well in the beginning of this trimester still, so. Um, just a heads up, all that practicing you were doing, for some of us, it's now the opposite. But that's okay, because kind of, I don't know, it grosses me out too, because like the baby is right here. I don't know. Who knows? Alright, I almost totally forgot to give you guys a belly shot, which I'm pretty sure is the point of most of these videos so hopefully you watch the last one so you can see how ginormous I've become so hopefully you can see this so here I am with my sweater on and to the side oh I kind of I want to show you guys my whole body I guess and here is the baby. And right now I'm 29 weeks, so just the start of my third. Well, see you guys next trimester. Check back for first trimester, how I prepared for pregnancy, and for my Down syndrome test, and for my gender reveal. And I hope you guys liked it, and I'll see you next time. Leave below any comments that you have or questions, and maybe what your worst symptom was if you've been pregnant. Thanks for watching. See ya.